Hello guys, Tube over here and welcome back to another video. I know this is a different game, it's not Cormon and definitely not Cormon art or Minecraft. It's just that I enjoyed playing this game, so I decided to make a video on it. I streamed this game on Twitch before, like once the other day. And I decided it might be fun to just do an only pistol challenge because yeah, self torture I guess. Um so most of this video, not including this intro, is at 1.4 uh, times speed. So it's gonna be quite fast, but I'll do a voiceover on it if you could even hear that. So I guess I'll just start showing the footage of me trying to win 4 rounds with using only pistols. And by using, I mean... I can only use pistols to, you know, damage people. So yeah, I guess. So here we are, round one. So I guess this round was pretty decent. There was this dude with a shotgun, which is really annoying. You don't know how annoying that is when you're using a pistol and you have to fight dudes with shotguns. And also this moment right here, I lagged out. So as you can see there, I jumped down. Right, and I was about to shoot him, and I suddenly lagged back up. Oh yeah, and these two died. These two died. I took them out just with a pistol. So yeah, as I mentioned, 1.4 times speed. So, um, as you can see, the pistol's shooting quite fast. But, <laughs> but this is not like a mod or anything. This is like just video footage being edited. So. Yeah, lots of camping around corners, enemies sniping down that hallway. Me jumping around and shooting people with pistol. Yeah, all that sort of stuff which you would regularly see in Critical Ops. Oh yeah, and these people were also talking about um, Discord and stuff. I didn't invite them or anything. I don't even know these people. They just casually knew Discord, like 99.9% .9 of people. Yeah, so anyways, um, I would tell you the outcome of this, but I don't really want to spoil it. Um, I f even I forgot myself, really. At this point, I'm just doing the voiceover and just watching it. And just seeing what happened. Lots of assault rifle people, I just noticed. So, yeah, lots and lots of assault rifle people. And there's this one guy running around with a shotgun and a pistol, with me just running around with a pistol. You can't actually select it to, for you to only have a pistol. You you need an like a primary weapon. But I just came over, I just got over that by simply not using the primary weapon. There was some times where I was tempted to use it, like I was trapped in a corner, and there's an opponent just there, like. You know, like you just saw there with the guy with the AK-47 sat behind me. Just casually waiting to shoot me <laughs> as I destroy his teammates. So yeah, as you can see this Andrew PH2011 guy. And basically an 11 year old at this point. Just sat in the corner with the shotgun waiting for somebody to pass through that door. And unfortunately meet their face. Also this guy just suddenly appeared, holding a vector, and he said that his ba Wi-Fi is bad. Like, I don't know how legit that is. You can't just appear usually, just appear sat there. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, that guy just appeared, I guess. Yeah, and the Andrew PH guy is still, you know... Advertising shotguns. I don't really like shotguns. They're like annoying to say the least because you kind of just run around and just hit people. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention I was interrupted by notification from from Pinterest. Not even my own Pinterest actually. Um. Yeah, so still running around with this pistol. As you can see, there are three people just walk down the hallway. And I just rushed in there with a the pistol. Probably not the best idea, but a lot of those come from me. Including this video. 
I don't think it's very wise to just use only pistols. I mean, like, pistols are fine. They're great and all. Like, I know some people are really good with them, but it's just... I kind of missed assault rifles and SMGs and stuff during this challenge. Just see everybody walking around with a sniper rifle or an assault rifle and just killing me instantly whilst I had to shoot like 10 rounds at them to kill them. Uh, so that was annoying but a lot of things in this challenge were annoying but this moment here was not annoying. This one was too. I just got shotgun sniped in the back by an 11 year old. Yeah, and as you can see here, these people just waiting for my teammates to come over to this narrow road here. Thankfully, somebody killed all of them. I killed one. Well, I killed another, and the last guy survived. And then died. And as you can see here, still lagging again. Sniper in the corner, which got one shot with a pistol. Yeah, I think like the most annoying person in round one was that Andrew guy. Just walking around with his pistol. I mean, shotgun. So as you can see from that st those statistics there, I don't think I was going doing that well. I don't know for sure. I mean, sometimes like when I streamed this on Twitch, I had twenty kills in my first attempt. But unfortunately, that was ruined by me, by my little brother explaining his fake one. So here's round two. Immediately started off by getting pelted by an, uh, by an SMG. The only thing I have is my lonely XD45. The reason why I like this gun, by the way, is because it's called XD, and it shoots quick and stuff. But it takes like a bajillion rounds to kill somebody. Doesn't matter though, because it shoots quickly. It's like an SMG but small. But aren't SMG small, you ask? Yes, they're small, but this one's smaller. And has recoil. Okay, again, fighting this dude, and this time I actually won and didn't get pelted. Instead, he got pelted and then I killed his ally. I, I got. I'm. I'm not. I'm generally not lying here. But. The animations for when you die whilst jumping are hilarious in this game. You like you just break up like paper cards getting shot by enough gun. Like they just fall to be, they just go like loose spaghetti. <laughs> so uh right now we're two fifty minutes in this round left and we my team's got forty one kills and a guy just jumped onto my head there. And the next the next few parts here are like just me getting destroyed. Except for this part here where I killed all three of these guys. Only to find that that last guy was dead and got shot myself. There's a sniper camping that container there, but he appeared very rarely. And he, guess who we found again in this round? The Andrew guy. Sitting with his shotgun in the corner. Look, he is alive again. And another annoying thing about this game is the spawn shields. Because, like, in this map you can spawn, like, randomly somewhere. Like, there's no specific team spawns. So an enemy could just spawn next to you with a spawn shield and you couldn't do anything about it whilst they can still shoot. I think an easy compromise slash balance to that would just be not allow usage of guns whilst having the spawn shield on. And as you can see there, the Andrew guy killed two people with one shotgun. And then killed this guy again. People appearing left, right and centre at this point. But my allies dealt with both of them. And there you can see the damage indicator behind me. Turns out that Andrew guy was hiding up there. Just peeking out and then shooting. Yeah, so basically at this point, it's just me trying to go out, kill somebody, but not kill somebody because my ally killed them and then die. So here, there are three enemies here. 
took me a bajillion rounds to kill that one guy. And then after I got pelted by an assault rifle. More specifically the SG551. Then when I won, I killed the guy with the headshot. And that's it for round 2. So now round 3. Round 3 was in the brewery map. So yeah, my least favorite map. Because I just don't like this place. I seriously don't. It's so annoying to deal with. So here we got another guy using the XD45 just like me. Whilst I was doing this, I was talking to my brother about how inferior that guy was at using pistols. Turns out his allies aren't as dumb and don't use pistols. And just instead go for an assault rifle. Like, most people in this game do go for an assault rifle. Some of the more talented ones go for like sniper rifle. That's the people who you see doing insane trick shots. Just no scoping and hard scoping and all that sort of crazy stuff. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I just know how to use assault rifles, pistols, and I snipe but not with hard scoping and stuff. I just snipe casually. So here there are these people at the back of me. Just on the other side. A technique people use there a lot is like sniping and then uncrouching for a bit and taking the shot. So you can quickly kill the opponent, but you need very good timing and fast fingers, good reaction, etc. And here I saw the way I died, and I found this guy hiding up there. Fortunately, I couldn't get him because of the angle of the height and stuff. So it was kind of hard to deal with him. Here a guy poked around with an SMG, and I shot him in the head. Didn't get a headshot though, somehow. And then I killed this guy. And as I said there, you could see there that he, when he died whilst jumping, he went into spaghetti noodles. <laughs> At this point, I did see somebody's legs down there and didn't react fast enough to kill him. Sometimes these pistols are good, it's just that you have to, you know, be cautious with them. I can't just go running around and shooting them with an SMG like how I normally do with the vector. I just, you know, find them. If they're far away, crouch, try to hit them. It's like that. So this thing essentially is just a mini vector. So, yeah, small vector. Here, I, uh, I accidentally misclicked and took out my assault rifle. And now you can see I got a wall bang on somebody. Somehow. So, after this, this is just me sniping people and destroying people absolutely with just a pistol here. Sat at this balcony. So, I think the most luckiest part was with the wall bang on the enemy just with the enemy on the other side of the map using a sniper rifle, me using a pistol, somehow getting him and killing him. I did get quite a few headshots this challenge and here I flanked them and got killed from the rear just as my ally killed him. What great timing I guess. So yeah quite interesting round to say the least. And it went so that takes us to I think Right now, one victory and one loss, which isn't very good. Like most YouTubers, would get like three victories, zero losses, and this round actually ended up being quite interesting because I actually got a draw on this. And as you saw there, that guy trying to snipe tried to shoot him. My ally killed him first. Even if that guy didn't get shot by my ally, I would have still died because you could clearly see that I missed there. And also, I had the lead spawning here. I I know like you could just get rid of this by like restarting the game, but I didn't want that. I didn't want to do that because I was too lazy. So here we can see an ally with horrible aiming. <laughs> Literally just drew a circle around that guy with with a scar. Okay, 
So now we're pushing in here. No pistol. And there's a guy just casually sat there with a sniper rifle waiting for me. And that's why I had zero kills. Which was embarrassing to say the least as usually my luck was recording videos is insane. But apparently not this round. Um as you, like, you can see I got a hit on that guy up there. I do really need to reload this pistol a lot though because I had to accommodate for the misses and all the bullets which it takes to actually kill the opponent. So yeah, ally sniper jumping around like a crazy monkey. Meanwhile I rush in here and I get shot from the back with a SG551. Um, yeah, my little brother right now is just sat here complaining at me, acting like I don't know anything, but... Hmm, little does he know I know lots. Um, also even the, uh, my usual username isn't actually ops, whatever numbers those are, it's just that I'm playing on my little this tablet because it's actually easier to record and the audio sounds better because on some videos where I record on my own phone which is at this point um seven years old so that's a long time okay as I said this round did end up being a draw so what I had to do was no tiebreaker, which actually went. I'm not actually gonna tell. Uh, because if I tell, it's gonna ruin this video. Just. And all my suffering will be for nothing. Uh, here, and I marked a warning for no reason, and I killed. And I got killed by a guy with an AK 47. So you can see this guy here with an XD 45 with a skin, which he was actually quite good at the kill guy there. Yeah, that sniper just sat there at the at the door again, waiting for me to come. I'm pretty sure he, they expected a moron coming with a pistol. So, yeah, he just sat there and waited, I guess. I could have flanked him, but the thing is, his allies are just waiting, camping. So after this, this is the tiebreaker. Okay, draw here. So to summarize, one loss, one victory, one draw. Now, I had to do a tiebreaker because a draw, I don't know if I should count as a victory or a loss. So I needed something to actually tell. Yeah, and here I'm still waiting for the... Like... Enemies to join the game. Got destroyed by Vector. My favourite SMG. And... Started walking around looking for an enemy. Got a wall bang there on the guy. Then got Vectored again. And then that vector guy got SG551. Okay, saw this guy trying to camp there, and then after I tried to kill him, his ally was camping because the turns out the other ally was just trying to lure me to his ally. I know I'm saying ally a lot, and I know it could be quite annoying. Pretty sure it is. Like, yeah. So here in the chat, somebody said pistols only, and I just said yeah, ironically. Because I was doing no pis was I was doing pistol only challenge. Now, I don't know if I sh should do any more of these videos. I mean, I enjoy making these videos. They're not as long and tiresome as um you know hormone art and stuff. Here you go. A uh, small shield came in clutch, and then he rushed up to me. Trying to kill me with the spawn shield on and didn't work. So he tried to throw out my assault rifle and accidentally threw out my uh, pistol. And then after I accidentally grabbed Vector and got shot from the side whilst trying to kill another person. So here we go, just casually walking around. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna start referring to, you know, what says oofs from now on. 
because it's a meme reference and also I think I don't the YouTube algorithm will appreciate me saying the you know what word tons of times I don't even have monetization yet and I'm probably going to get demonetized I don't even know if my country actually has monetization to be honest I really don't know it's like I'm unsure because our neighboring countries do most likely my country does because if not all this would be for nothing uh, so there's a guy just camping there in the hallway so if you can see late in the match his allies started camping at that plant pot on their side and I actually managed to kill him once I know I'm missing a lot with this pistol it took me like three seconds of one at 1.4 times speed to kill that guy and I literally emptied my entire magazine there you go like you see that it's like one second and I already lost two rounds now frankly some assault rifles are actually quite annoying because they're basically just snipe rifles but with no scope due to the fact that uh, I'm specifically referring to the HK417 here it has very 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 low rate of fire it's like one shot like a second another shot a second yeah just like that I found it irritating I did use it um, just playing casually earlier today and it was very annoying very very annoying because whilst the enemies were shooting me with bullets I was reloading <laughs> and usually what you want from these is to be able to shoot the enemy back and oof them now I know this is this sort of content is very out of the ordinary for my channel but I just I don't know I enjoy playing this game it's a good pastime which is not Cormon because in Cormon I just perfect hunt most of the time and it's very annoying because I ran out of potent sense yeah I know I misused the potent sense and ran out so I had a 1 in 3194 chance to encounter a perfect Cormon and usually I encounter Cormon even with the scent of P19 so if if you didn't know if you encountered P19 Cormon and tried to increase its potential by 2 by you know just chance that's actually possible with the potential filter um, so it will be more rare than encountering a perfect Cormon in the wild so I really really didn't need that as I already had a very low chance 1 in 3194 is very low if you didn't know they killed this guy oh I'm sorry I mean oofed this guy and then got oofed myself these curtains for some reason actually work and it does block you from a certain angle I got shot in the back and I did see this guy in my matches sometimes the guy named Spy Boy Gamer YT I don't know who he is I never heard of his channel I think I might have I don't know he doesn't sound that good he sounds like some sort of 9 year old trying to do YouTube as most people do um, yeah here I tried to get into the corridor and I kept on getting destroyed by a sword rifle fire here I won and I tried to go for this one last guy around the corner so anyways that's the video end actually uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I guess I'll see you in the next video